Good morning. Today I'm going to show you uh, how I do my gloriously large and easy to prepare uh, oatmeal breakfast. So let's get started. First, I've got this um, porridge oats, ancient grains. You can feel free to use any other kind of oatmeal that you use. Uh, this one is, would be more of a steel cut variety. Uh, so I just fill up just a just the bottom section over here. Don't put too much. It uh, grows quite large. Put in some cold water up to about uh, halfway. Okay, now you'll find that the oatmeal has uh, gotten quite bigger and uh, it's nice and piping hot. And so next, I have a bunch of frozen uh, fruit mix. And let's say, well, it's going to be frozen. That's no good. But this one I've mixed myself. I've taken uh, pomegranate, um, blueberries, mixed berries, and I've also cut up some strawberries and frozen it all together. And this comes at a really good price from Walmart, this particular package. It was uh, 1.75 kilo. And uh, this one was just cultivated blueberries, but I've also mixed in some uh, cut up peaches and some cherries. So a couple of handfuls of either one of those. I really like a lot of fruit in the morning. Adds a lot of flavor to the uh, to the oatmeal. You don't have to put in too much extra sugar or other sweeteners and stuff like that. So now that it's piping hot, if you mix it together with the frozen stuff, just kind of get it nice and mixed in. And then just let it sit like that. I have found that um, the fruit ends up being completely defrosted by the time you're ready to eat. So, so it works out great. Next, um, I'll put in some spices and you can do this to how much you like, but, um, put in some cinnamon, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of cloves, whatever you like. I also put in a little bit of black cumin. a handful of mixed nuts. In this case, you have uh, pumpkin seeds, almonds, walnuts, and uh, skin on nuts, peanuts. You can't buy this mix, or maybe you can, but uh, this one I've made myself just by buying the individual ingredients, keeping a container previous and just shaking it all up, giving it the old shake. It speeds up the progress in the morning instead of having to go and do all that. Next, give it a little shake of uh, a mix of flax seeds, uh, ground flax seeds. It's important. You should not use the regular flax, um, unground, uh, it's very hard for your body to digest it. So uh, this is a mix of uh, ground flax seeds, chia seeds, and uh, hemp hearts. So you're going to be getting some omega-3s, etc. from that as well. And uh, now it's time for some soy milk. Feel free to use any other kind of plant-based milk that you like. If you want it a little bit sweeter, you could get one of those um, vanilla plant-based milk, or they also have the chocolate kind too. And you just pay attention to the amount of calories on it. And uh, this is pretty much the low end. This is the unsweetened version. Um, 
And then you just gently mix it all together. In this case, my bowl is just a little bit small for this, but uh, if you do it carefully, it's fine. And there you go. It's your purple oatmeal breakfast. It's for preparing and then you're ready to roll with an extremely tasty and nutritious breakfast. Thank you for joining me. Here's another quick tip from Vegan Montreal.